So, let's see if she uh, likes to take that mouse from the tweezers. There we go. And this is the green pit viper right there. Trimersurus albolabris. And in true green tree pit viper fashion, she is uh, holding on to that prey item. Sinking in those uh, fangs all the way and probably still injecting venom. Just like that. And she of course got a real good grip on that mouse so it uh, can't injure the snake in any way. Just gonna wait until that uh, venom finishes it. Which actually might uh, take a while with the species. Um, you know those uh, green pit vipers, they have comparably mild venom. It is very effective towards amphibians and birds though, from what I've been told. However, against mammals, not so much. Like these snakes, they have a huge distribution all throughout Southeast Asia. And a lot of people do get bitten by these snakes. And yet most seem to survive without too much problems. There are fatalities known though, so I would recommend still being careful, of course. There we go, very beautiful snake right there, in my opinion. Like, I personally prefer the uh, terrestrial uh, species in general. However, I uh, just couldn't say no to that uh, beautiful bright green and uh, yellow coloration they got going on. And they look even more beautiful in uh, in person than on camera, I can assure you that. Very wonderful snakes right there. So yeah, I guess I'm a fan of the boreal ones now as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get some more of these uh, species in particular in the future, but who knows. Maybe if... Uh, uh, the day comes and I have collected all the rattlesnakes and terrestrial pit vipers that I uh, still am looking for. I might uh, also look into more of the arboreal ones as well. But uh, anyway, so let's uh, go on to the next snake. Uh, see how the Zistrurus does. I think I'm going to feed him next. So this is, uh, this is Trurus miliarius. Boom. There we go, pygmy rattlesnake. Right there. Oh look, the venom just kicked in. Very nice. And uh, of course, when the rodent uh, starts to panic like this, it's just gonna make the venom even more effective. At the end of the day, you know, the heart rate that picks up and uh, it just makes the venom circulate through the body even quicker. Shutting down the rodent system right there, see? That's how fast it goes. And uh, again, this is a dusky pygmy rattlesnake, to be exact. This uh, is Trurus miliarius baburi. They are quite a bit darker than the um, normal Zisturus miliarius miliarius, which uh, are also very beautiful in my opinion, but I prefer this wonderful black and grey coloration with the nice light spots they got as well, which is really beautiful. And uh, you can also see the tiny rattle at the end of the tail much smaller and less developed than our normal rattlesnakes in the Crotalus genus, of course. I think you can actually see where the where he got that rodent on the head, see? See that little blood spot? That's it right there. So, next up is the Lancet Pit Viper. And the mouse is gonna run right into it, see? There we go. This is uh, Botrops atrox, one of the most uh, common 
Lens at Pit Vipers probably. I'll have a look how he just pumps that rodent full of venom, see? And uh, as I mentioned in a lot of other videos before, those Lancet Pit Vipers, they got uh, some of the most precise strikes of any venomous snake from what I can tell at least. Like they get the rodent exactly behind the head. Just like that and uh, I think that's about it for the mouse right there. Let's see. Obviously they have very potent venom. Much more potent than all the snakes uh, we've seen before. Then said pit vipers are no joke. So, uh, we're continuing this uh, feeding video with the Crotalus pifanorum, which is a species of uh, neotropical rattlesnake. You know, the interesting thing about the neotropical uh, rattlesnake species is uh, is that they are much more potent in venom than all the North American ones, or at least most of them. They just have like a... Um, you know, cocktail of different venom components. Oh, look, he's full focus. There we go. Perfect strike from him. And the venom will kick in any time now. Just wait. Ah, there we go. Yep. It's definitely envenomated. I see he's just already losing control of uh, of his legs, it seems. Uh, let's see if I can maybe get him out of there. Uh, he's about... Uh, he almost passed away already. Oh. Or at least close to passing away. Uh, see, that's what I mean. It's just... Uh, uh, seems to be even more effective than uh, what uh, you see with some of the North American species. And they are very, uh, very toxic towards humans in particular as well, it seems. Like there are cases where um, people pass away only 20 minutes after getting bitten by a neotropical rattlesnake. And there are also cases of people passing away two weeks um, after getting bitten and thinking they survived it and then they pass away from kidney failure which is a common symptom after getting bitten by one of these so stay inside please this is the puff adder of course Betis arietans and he's a male specimen he's a bit confused it seems but as soon as he spots that mouse, he's gonna stay inside his home, of course. No, oh, behave yourself, please. Oh. Look, he bites the tweezers. I don't know what... I don't know what's wrong with him today. Usually he's a very well-behaved snake, but... Today he's acting a little weird, but... Please have some patience. He's... I think he's... He changed his mind now. Oh, come on. Now he's gonna get it. Yeah, there we go. Just like I said, that mouse just looked too tasty. So he had to behave, apparently. And of course, the um, puff adders are also uh, known for holding onto the prey atoms if they can. They. Uh, show in general similar behavior to the Gaboon Vipers to which they are related to. However, from uh, my experience, they uh, do differ in hunting technique uh, in regards to a few things. They don't, um, they don't hold the uh, mouse off the ground like the Gaboon Vipers do. Like if you uh, have seen a Gaboon Viper eating, they typically I grab the prey item and then hold it above the ground so it can't get any friction uh, from from like foliage or something to get away. 
And the puff adders, they just don't do it for some reason. They just pump it full of venom like this, as you can see. And they also um, have a tendency to sometimes sneak up on their prey, which the Gaboon Vipers never do. They will only strike from an ambush and not moving, you know, from a sitting position. They will never try to sneak up on their prey. The Puff Adders, they will do it if they are hungry in particular. So let's go to the next one. So this is the Akistrodon Konanti again. The Florida Cottonmouth. And he is, um, he is a little bit incompetent, so give him a second. He will notice that it's food there, but it can take it can take a bit. And he prefers it when I um, hold the rodent in front of him with the tweezers like this. Come on. There we go. Let's see if he uh, wants to bite it again. Uh, apparently not. I guess uh, he thinks there is enough venom inside. And it does seem like it. Rodent has passed away already. Oh, never mind. It's still alive. But it's about done now. Of course, that uh, water moccasin venom is no joke either, especially from a comparably large sized specimen like this. For him, those uh, feeder mice are just a small snack. Let's put it back there so he can eat it nice and easy. Oh. Rodent still wants to fight. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm a big fan of the uh, Akistrodon snakes, as I mentioned in uh, the last video already. They just always have been uh, one of my personal favorites. They have a nice, uh, strong feeding response, usually. Uh, he's uh, a bit of an exception and next to... Uh, act a bit strange sometimes but I don't mind I still love him very much he's a very beautiful snake with this uh, nice dark coloration as uh, babies they have a very uh, striking banded pattern and uh, as older they get the, the more the pattern fades away you know so they become darker and darker and he's uh, quite a old specimen he was born in 2018 i think i'm not sure however he is adult for a while now so he has a nice dark pattern there we go now stay inside so this is a copperhead of course broad banded copperhead akistrodon laticinctus oh. give me a second that rodent likes to try and escape, but that's not gonna happen. Now stay inside, please. Uh, Venom should kick in in time now. And then he's not gonna be able to run away. Very be nice. And he's just uh, waiting patiently. For that rodent to pass away, he is a very hungry snake. He never skips a meal, even though he's uh, even when he's like, you know, days before shedding, he doesn't care. Let's see here. <laughs> I think that rodent is about to die slow. He certainly envenomated though. Otherwise he would oh 
Uh, wow. My, uh, the light on my uh, phone just uh, went out because I don't have, because um, it's uh, running running low on uh, battery. Uh, not 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 battery, but I don't know how the English word is. Whatever. Um, uh, I guess I have to film the rest of this uh, feeding video like this. I hope you don't mind. I um, I will take care of it for the next uh, next feeding video, so it won't happen again. I promise. Um, yeah, but I hope you uh, like those uh, longer feeding videos as well. Um, maybe leave your opinions uh, in the comments if you prefer longer or shorter ones. Like, I don't really care. I record them feeding anyway, so... Just a matter of cutting it down. Oh, this is the female specimen. Oh, there we go. And it is actually his uh, sister. Oh, see the venom kick in. Um, I think it's about it. Some uh, very fast acting venom. <coughs> Let's see right here. Ah, the mouse is dead already, see? Only took a few seconds. So I like to see it. Wonderful. 